Hello, welcome to Guidancy Education Channel. This channel is for class 11 and class 12, that is plus 1 and plus 2, physics and chemistry. The various topics are included in chapter wise playlist. You can visit the channel. You can visit the channel and then select the desired playlist and watch the videos. Please watch the videos completely so that you get all points cleared. And if you think the videos are useful, do like the video and share the video with your friends or other groups so that they may also be benefited. This video is for class 11 chemistry, chapter two. Let us see the topic. We are continuing class 11 chemistry, chapter two, structure of atom. Under that we are doing quantum mechanical model of atom. This is part 13 under that. In this video, we will discuss some elements with exceptional configuration. What is exchange energy? Reasons for stability of half filled and completely filled subshells or orbitals. I have discussed four examples that is four elements showing exceptional electronic configuration. Please watch the video completely so that you get all points cleared. And if you think the video is useful, do like the video, share the video with your friends and also leave your feedbacks as comments in the comment box below. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe it now. Subscriptions are totally free and also press the bell button for notification of more videos like this. Thank you very much. Let us see the topic. Some exceptional atomic configuration. That is, some atoms having exceptional atomic configuration that is slightly different from the normal pattern. Here also, the three rules, namely of Bohr principle, Pauli exclusion principle and Hunt's rule is followed. In addition to that, some elements show some more deviation for stability. Atoms attain stability when their valence shells are either completely filled or half filled. Electrons within the square bracket are called core electrons. Electrons represented outside the square bracket are called valence electrons and the orbitals are called valence orbitals. For example, chromium atomic number 24. I have shown here two possible electron distribution. One with argon 18 4s2 3d4 and the other one argon 18 4s1 3d5 which one of these is correct for convenience sake that is for easiness of explanation we will number the five orbitals of the d subshell as d1 d2 d3 d4 and d5 D subshell can hold a maximum of 10 electrons, that is 2 electrons each, in each of the 5 orbitals. The S subshell has only one orbital or orientation and the 2 electrons are filled there. The remaining 4 electrons are filled in the D orbitals, D1, D2, D3 and D4. D5 is empty. In the second method, we find 4s has unpaired electron. One electron from 4s is shifted to 3d, making 3d 5. Now, 4s and 3d have half-filled electron distribution. Electron from 4s can move to 3d in the ground state itself, that is without providing any external energy, because the energy gap between 4s and 3d is very small and electrons can easily move from 4s to 3d. All the electrons have the same spin that is why the arrows are shown in the same direction. So we find here the valence shells are half filled. Half filled electronic configuration gives stability to atom. When all the electrons of the atom are under the attractive force of the nucleus, the electrons will remain in their respective orbitals and that is what we mean by stability of the atom. What are the reasons or factors which help stability of the atom? One, symmetry in electron distribution. In the second case, we find it is more symmetrical than the first case. What is the benefit of having symmetry? in distribution all these electrons are revolving around the nucleus 
in different spatial arrangement. Therefore, there is less shielding effect. I have already posted a video on shielding effect. If you have not watched that video, please click the I button in order to watch that. Okay. So, all the electrons are attracted by the nucleus and it gives more stability. So, less shielding effect means more stability. Half filled and completely filled orbitals have symmetry. Therefore, it offers less shielding effect and more stability. Second reason for stability is exchange energy. What is exchange energy? In an atom, electrons are in various orbitals and the various orbitals have their own energy. So, electrons have lot of energy and when electrons have lot of energy, they become unstable. So, if the electrons can lose some amount of energy, then the atom can become more stable. The electrons in the degenerate orbitals can exchange their position with other electrons in the degenerate orbitals. During each exchange, some amount of energy is lost by the electron. The energy that is lost in this manner is called exchange energy. The exchange energy depends upon the total number of exchanges possible. We will compare the number of exchanges possible for these two options. Let us take up the first case. D1 electron can have three exchanges. What about D2? It can have two exchanges. D3 electron can have only one exchange. So, the total becomes 3 plus 2 plus 1 equal to six possible exchanges. What about the second case? The D1 electron can have four possible exchanges. D2 can have three possible exchanges. Electron in D3 can have two possible exchanges. And electron in D4 can have one exchange. The total exchange is 10. So, the second type of distribution has more exchange energy. So, that is stabler than the first option. Greater the exchange energy, greater the stability. So, second option is the correct distribution of chromium. In addition to less shielding effect and high exchange energy, this also provides less columbic repulsion force. The repulsive force among the valence electrons will be less. So, it offers more stability. Three factors which help stability are less shielding effect, less columbic repulsive force, greater exchange energy. Completely filled and half filled electronic configuration of the valence shell favor these three factors. This is electron distribution. When we write the electron configuration, as we have already learned in the previous video, the order becomes argon 18, 3D5, 4S1. Now we will proceed to see a few more exceptional cases. The atomic number of copper is 29. These are the two possible ways it can be arranged. When we normally arrange it, we arrange it in this way. Argon 18, 4S2, 3D9. As you can see, this arrangement is not symmetrical, so it is not stable. The second arrangement has Argon 18, 4S1, 3D10. D subshell is completely filled. So, there is symmetry and there is less shielding effect and therefore it is stable. So, the second option is correct. The first option is not correct. Electron configuration has to be argon 18, 3D10, 4S1. Next one, rhodium, atomic number 45. This is palladium, atomic number 46. They differ only in one electron. I have given here a list of elements belonging to group 18. They belong to the six periods. Electron distribution of rhodium becomes krypton 36, 5s1, 4s8. One electron from 5s is shifted to 4d so that 4d gets an octet structure. 
normally it should be 5s2 and 4d7 but that is not stable when it is 5s1 and 4d8 the d subshell has octet structure so more stable in the case of palladium the electron distribution becomes krypton 36 5s0 4d10 by shifting the 5s electron to 4d the 4d subshells get completely filled up we have already seen in the beginning that completely filled orbitals also give stability we have already discussed the reasons these are a few elements with exceptional electron configuration also see the electron configuration of the two elements that i have shown below if you think the video helped you do not hesitate to like and leave your feedbacks as comments in the comment box below. Please share the video with your friends who may also be benefited. If you have not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe it now and also press the bell button so that you may get intimated as soon as videos are posted. Thank you very much. Bye for the present. Take care.